Howdy folks, got another clean water store instructional video, real short sweet one. This is for a non-pulse precision 24 metering pump, usually used for chlorine or hydrogen peroxide. And when you plug the pump in, it's going to light the letter P. The letter P is letting you know it has power. That's all it's letting you know. It's saying I'm plugged in, I'm turned on. When you press the start stop button, it's going to start pumping and it's going to display a number between one, 0 and 100. I'm slowing it down, I'm slowing it down, I'm slowing it down. If you, if you see 0, it's not going to pump. You start going up. Generally, you're going to keep the pump probably around 90 to 100, maybe a little bit lower when you fine tune it. When you're adjusting the stroke knob, when you're adjusting it up and down, it's real important that you only do so while the pump is pumping. Don't do it when it's not. When it's not pumping, don't touch the center knob. Just adjust it up and down. We're adjusting the length of the stroke when we're touching this one, and we're adjusting the number of times it strokes on that one. Okay, so there's at 100, and there's at 60 on the pole. So that's 60% of 24 gallons a day is what that would do. And that would be the whole 24 gallons a day. It's the maximum output of the pump right there, going at 100. If you press and hold the start stop button while it's on P, then after a few seconds you'll go into the very brief programming menu and all you really ever need to know is that zero has to be at 180. That's so that the pump will pump the maximum number times, which is three times a second. When you hit the start stop button again, it'll go one, two, three, and then back to zero 180. It doesn't matter what any of these other values are. That one defaults at 10. You can't get it any lower than the 10. Uh, the 200, you could change that one, but it doesn't matter. The same with the 300, you could change it. The zero has to be at 180. Number one, it doesn't matter. Two, it doesn't matter. Three, it doesn't matter. Boom, you're back there. And then if you're ever wondering, why is it there? What do I do? Eventually, it'll go back if you leave it alone. And then also if you press and hold it. And the main thing is if you press and hold it while it's on P and it gets you in there, now you know why it's in there. Okay, so that's the programming video. It's short and sweet. Thanks, folks.